Hello guys, in this video tutorial we will tell you how to add the Taxi Future to your app. Taxi Future is a fee functional service. It helps you to list all your cabs and drivers, allowing them to receive requests from the passengers and helping passengers to easily request cab service through the app. Now let's add the Taxi Future to your app. Click on Edit and in my Future section, click on View All and search Taxi Service. Click on the future to add it to your app. This is your future name. If you want, you can change it as per your needs. From here, you can change the future icon. If you want, you can select a solid icon or outline icon or an image from our library or upload your own custom icon. You can even upload two different images for the mobile app and website. Now click on save and continue. To manage taxi settings, go to my apps back end and click on, my, on manage. You'll be redirected to the taxi initial setup section. For configuring Taxi for the first time, you will need to follow the basic steps. For the first step, you need to add the country and region. Please note you can add manage multiple countries and regions later on from the region section. Once done, click on save and continue. The next step is to add a vehicle type. The fields are predefined but you can change them as per your needs. Just to inform you, this section is explained in detail in the following vehicle type section. After setting up the vehicle type, click on save and continue. The final step for the taxi configuration is general settings. Other details are predefined. If you want, you can change the settings later on from the general settings section. Just to inform you, this section is explained in detail in the following settings section. Once done, click on save and continue. Now you'll be redirected to the taxi dashboard. Here you can check your revenue st statistics and ongoing bookings. You can check the revenue on a daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly basis with the drivers and admins amount segregated. You can also check the total revenue from here. Under ongoing bookings, you can view the booking ID, passenger's name, date and time, pickup and drop off location, total amount, driver's name, and booking status. Let's move to the region section. Click on region on the side menu. Here you will see all the added regions or countries. You can research for a particular country or region if you want. Now let's add a new region. Click on add new region and add a new pop-up will open. Now select the country from the drop-down and define the region for a particular country. Please note you can add multiple countries and regions. Once done, click on save and continue. Here is your added country and region. If you want, you can change the status and edit or delete the record from the action column. Please note, if you delete a particular region, then the associated vehicle type city will also get deleted. Now coming to vehicle type, here you will see the list of all added vehicle types. You can search for a vehicle type or filter the vehicle type by status. Let's add a new vehicle type. Click on add vehicle type and pop-up will open. Enter the vehicle type such as micro, mini, etc. Next, define the maximum number of seats and add a vehicle image. You can also set the pricing for the vehicle type. Enter the base, fare, minimum fare, price per kilometer, price per minute, cancellation price, and booking fee. If you want, you can add a brief description in the description field. Once done, click on save. Here's your added vehicle type. You can check the added details such as image, vehicle type, maximum seats, price details, and status if you want. If you want, can, you can make the vehicle type active, inactive, and also edit or delete the record from the action column. Next up is the vehicle type city. Here you will see the combination of the regions and the vehicle types defined in the respective sections. You can check the vehicle type, city, max size, base fare, minimum fare, the price per minute, the price per distance, price cancellation charges, booking fee, and status. If you want, you can make the vehicle city type active, inactive, and also edit the vehicle type from the action column. Now click on company on the side menu. Here you will see all your added companies. You can search and filter the company by status. Click on add company and a new pop-up will open. Provide the necessary details in the required fields. Enter the company name and add a logo for your company. Next, enter the address, email, mobile, city, state, zip code, VAT number, and landline number. If you want, you can also add Twilio master key and Twilio secret key. For obtaining the required keys, please refer to our tutorial. 
Once you have added all the details, click on save to continue. Here's your added company. If you want, you can make the company active, inactive, and also edit or delete the record from the action column. Please note, all the vehicles operating under this company will also be disabled if the company is deleted. Now coming to tax. Here you will see the list of added tax. You can search and filter the tax by status. Click on add new tax to add tax. You can add tax region wise or company wise. Let's first add tax on the basis of region. Select the country from the drop down and then select the region where the tax will be applied. Next, enter the tax name and tax percentage. Once done, click on save. Here you will see your added tax on the basis of region. If you want, you can update the status, edit tax information, or delete the record. Now let's add tax on the basis of company. Select the company from the dropdown. Please note only the company added under the company section will be displayed on the dropdown. Enter the tax name and tax percent. Once done, click on save to continue. Here you will see your added tax on the basis of company. Now let's move to the miscellaneous tax. Here you will see the list of added tax. You can also search and filter the miscellaneous tax by status. Next, click on add new tax and a new pop-up will appear. Select the type, the tax type from the drop-down. Example, fixed or percentage, and then enter the tax name and tax percentage. Once done, click on save to continue. Here's your added tax and details. If you want, you can change the status to active or inactive, edit tax information, or delete the record from the action column. Next up is CMS Pages. Click on Pages on the side menu to, to add terms and conditions and privacy policy for both the passenger and drivers. You can also add an About Us page as well. Here you check the page name, page identifier, and languages. Under the Action column, you can edit the CMS content. Click on the Edit icon and a pop-up will open. Next, provide the necessary details. Enter the page name, meta title, meta keyword, meta description, and content in the respective fields. Once done, click on Save to continue. Now come into the email template. Here you will see the preset emails that will, be, that will be sent to the drivers and passengers. From here, you can check the email templates and subject. Under the Action column, click on the Edit icon to edit the email. From here, you can change the email subject and its content. Once done, click on Save to continue. Now let's manage taxi settings. The settings are further categorized into general, passenger, language, driver, language, and configurations. Let's check each one of them. First is the general settings. General settings is divided into location-based settings, drive, settings, driver app settings, and other settings. Under location-based settings, you can set a default distance unit, that is kilometers or miles, and set the booking and city radius. Booking radius is the area for users to search vehicles within the specified radius, whereas city radius is the area for driver's operation. Under driver app settings, you can upload the driver's app logo, app splash, and app and package name. You can also manage other settings, including show, high sign up from app, allow later booking, request wait time, cancel request grace time, auto approve driver, show reason at cancellation, Reviews, auto approve reviews, cancel timeout for driver app, currency code, allow tip, and allow tow. If you want, you can also add service charge and admin percentage. Next, click on passenger language and you will be redirected to the passenger language settings. This section contains all the default text showing up in the passenger app. If you want, you can change the text as per your needs. Once done, click on save to continue. Now, click on driver's language. Similar to the passenger's language settings, you can change the default text showing up in the driver's app. Once done, click on save to continue. Now, now coming to the configuration settings. Here you need to provide the PubNub publish key and subscribe key for GPS tracking. You can follow our tutorial to obtain the publish and, and subscribe key. Once you have provided the keys, click on authenticate. Next up is map settings. Here you need to provide the Google API key for Android, iOS, you can follow our tutorial to obtain the API key. Once done, click on save and continue. Now coming to the driver option, click on driver on the side menu to manage drivers. Under driver list, you can view all of the driver's list and details. You can also accept, reject, edit, or delete the driver's record from the action column. Please note you can increase the driver limit from here. 
Now let's add a driver. Click on the driver, add driver and provide all the necessary details. Enter the name, address, email, mobile number, driver's license number, and license expiry date. You can also upload a driver image and driver's license pic. Once done, click on save and continue. Now you'll be redirected to the vehicle section. Here you can add the driver's vehicle details. Click on add new vehicle and provide the necessary details. Select the company, region, and vehicle type from the drop down. Next, enter the number of passengers, vehicle insurance number, vehicle make, vehicle model, year of model, vehicle license plate number, and ch chassis number. You can also upload a front and rear view image of the vehicle. Once done, click on save. Here you can check the vehicle details. You can assign, unassign, change the vehicle status, edit and delete the vehicle record. You can also add a driver by clicking on add driver on the sign menu. Click on under verification on the sign menu to check the drivers that are still under verification. Under accepted and rejected, you can see all the approved and unapproved drivers. You can accept, reject, edit, and delete the driver's record from this action column. Under offline and online, you can see all the drivers that are unavailable and available at the moment, respectively. Under online, you can also log out the driver from here. Under booked and unbooked, you can check all the drivers that are booked and unbooked, respectively. Now coming to promo code, click on promo code on the side menu to check the status of your promo code. You can search or filter the promo codes. Click on add new promo code and a pop-up will open. Provide all the necessary details to add a new promo code. Enter the promo code name and select the promo code type, fixed or percentage. Next, enter the promo code value. Set expiry date and change the status, active or inactive. Once done, click on save to continue. Here's your added promo code. You can check all the details and if you want, you can update the status, edit the promo code, details, and delete the record. Next up is payment settings. You can set up multiple payment methods depending on the currency selected from here. Tick mark the checkbox boxes to set up your desired payment methods and click on save. Now coming to manage bookings. Here you will see all the bookings made by the app users. You can search the bookings by passenger, driver, or by appointment ID. You can also filter the booking by date or the booking status. If you want, you can also export the data in the Excel or CSV format. Under the Manage Booking sections, you can check the appointment ID, driver, passenger name, date and time, pickup and drop off location, distance, fare, payment status and type, and the booking status. Now let's move to Passenger Ratings. This section will display the reviews and ratings given by the passenger to driver. You can search the reviews based on either passenger name or driver name. Under passenger ratings, you can check the appointment ID, date, passenger name, driver name, review, and rating. You can also update the status of the rating if you want. Next up is the driver review. This section will display the review and ratings given by the drivers to the passenger. You can search for a particular rating based on a driver name or passenger name. Under review, under driver review, you can check the appointment ID, date, passenger name, driver name, review, and rating. You can also update the status if you want. The final option is the invoice history. Click on invoice history to view all the information related to the booking and transaction. You can search the report by driver or passenger name or filter the, rec the record by date and payment type. You can also export the report in the Excel or CSV format. If you want, you can also download the invoice as a PDF file. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates as soon as they are live.